Hey everyone, this is Oliver Hoyas and today I have Dennis Erkusch with me today and we are going to discuss how she chose the golden circle of abundance painting for her home and Dennis is from original from Turkey, lived in Luxembourg and now you're in Switzerland in close to yeah. Souk, right? Yes, in Noirville. And I passed by Dubai between uh, Luxembourg and Switzerland. Yeah, that's amazing. You traveled, traveled a lot. That's amazing. So, but before I'm getting ahead of myself, Dennis, why don't you introduce yourself quickly and your interest in art? Um, actually, started uh, with your paintings. Um, you know, we, I, when I joined the uh, the mindset uh, journey three years ago, that's how I met you. And then obviously we got connected. And then I saw your paintings. And uh, when I moved here on my own, you know, after the divorce, I wanted to, to have something to put on my wall, uh, based on uh, what I want to manifest, based on who I am, based on what I want to create in my life, and also have something that when I look, I uh, my energy goes up. You know, it's energy giving kind of something mm -hmm. to to look at and to to connect at home mm -hmm. um and then i saw in your um I mean, some of my friends also in the same group bought uh, your painting mm -hmm. and i saw one which was a um, very golden one remember the like the one behind and is more golden i said oh mm -hmm. this sounds cool and uh, and in, when we met in the in the event you know design thinking we talked about it, yeah, we had the first time really a lot of discussion, you know, a lot mm -hmm. of uh, talks about, you know, what you're doing, what I'm doing. And uh, then we came to, to my apartment and then we were just looking, you know, what can be done. I had abundance in my mind because I want to create this structure that, you know, is quite a uh, big vision. So I said I, I want uh, to have abundance and... Um, and you brought the paintings. Uh, we looked, you know, we, we worked a lot actually from one room to the other, we put on the wall and things like that. You can you left one with me to look, you know, to connect. And then I said, I want you to do one for me. You know, that's uh, because I want uh, abundance. I want to, um, uh, you know, the seven points that we talked about first in, the, in our mindset trainings which turned out to, to become the chakras and the, the seven stones there, mm -hmm. the color became really golden. So he, we decided to do my painting first time. And that was my first L painting I purchased in my life. You know, this is the one thing I did. And that was with you. So, um, and I love the process because we had open discussion what I want to create uh, and also, I tend to, because I'm in the finance world, you know, we tend to be very de defined on what we want. Mm -hmm. So, at some point, I felt like I was trying to put my thoughts into your your creation. And I remember I said, ah, I'm going to stop here. You're the artist. You need to create. So, I want abundance. I want gold. You know what I like. And uh, I want to see the energy and harmony in there. And uh, I want to see the seven chakras uh, connection. And then I stopped there. Uh, and then you started actually working after that. Exactly. So, yeah. And then here we are. We have this wonderful golden circle of abundance now. Yeah, exactly. So that was really fun because, yeah, as you said, we started, it started with the abundance painting that you saw, right? So this, yeah. this, this was yeah. the series I did. Yeah. And and then, yeah, and then I brought you them to, to try it out, right? We had a look and everything and you really loved them. You loved the idea. But in the end, yeah, we decided to do a custom made painting, which then was specifically for, for, for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, this had really everything in that you wanted. And we changed a bit the color because with the abundance painting, I used the spray, which is a bit more metallic. And in the end, we chose the, uh, the color, which is more a more a yellow gold. And the other one is more like this metallic gold, right? Which, uh, yeah. So I think it came out really, really nice. And yeah. and Dennis, tell me, tell us before you, before we met, before uh, you got interested in my art, did you have an interest in art 
in your family or as a kid or something? Was there something? Uh, I mean, we always appreciated, obviously, you know, the the big names. You know, I always went to the museums, you know, look at the, um, you know, that was that was thing I did, you know. Uh, when I was going to the modern, uh, modern ones, modern museums, and you know, I remember we were in New York, actually, uh, and, and uh, when I was in London as well, I used to go and then look like this and then say, you know, what should I see here? You know, that's because uh, when it's modern, I it's difficult to to connect to understand what the painting is about. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it's the old traditional, you know, these uh, you know, 16th, 17th century ones are much easier to see because they were more reality. Mm-hmm. Um, but I never, I even have a book, you know, in my in my home. Oh, yeah, uh, I saw that. <laughs> Yeah. And my daughter actually was more into art because of the nanny we had. Um, mm-hmm. they, were, they were visiting together the uh, the museums, the art galleries, uh, because uh, Mireille uh, was very interested in it. And uh, so Sierra got a bit from her. Uh, but I never, I even, I, I was not uh, painting, you know, drawing. Uh, all started with the, with the mindset trainings. Uh, drawing started coming, mm-hmm. and, I, and I said, "Oh, actually, I enjoy drawing. You know, all these colors. You know, because it's a way of putting your thoughts into paper, and um, and they come out good. You know, actually, when they you look at them, uh, or when I look at what I have drawn, mm-hmm. all, because of all these homeworks we were doing and everything." And I, I was realizing more what I want to create for who I am. Uh, you know, a lot of discoveries I had just with the drawing, mm-hmm. simple drawing really, uh, with no art basis. Um, and I got interested, I, I think, because of uh, I, it was the right time. I yeah. think that and uh, I felt the need that I want something and I had a very nice wall here waiting for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like a, I didn't know what to put there, I couldn't decide. I said, why not put in a painting? And uh, and then by chance, you know, I saw your paintings and I said, why not talk into all over? You know, it's, it's a series of uh, events coming together. There's no coincidences. It's just uh, um, I, I that painting was supposed to be here. So amazing yeah yeah everything it's like uh, synchronicity right one thing after yeah, the next yeah. and you're like oh wow that would be amazing so th- did you also see other artworks that that uh, from me that caught your attention or did you know in the beginning already you want a, a golden one i wanted the golden one mm-hmm. i didn't discuss about the color so i wanted uh, really the gold um so that was my that was my first one I like the other ones as well. I like the uh, the one with the tulips. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, tulips were very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the last one you brought. You know the the, the small like rectangular one. The silver. The, yeah, silver yeah. one. Mm-hmm. I like that. Uh, but I said I, I I want first golden because that's what uh, I needed to see here. And also, I think the way the, the lights are happening here in the apartment mm-hmm. and it's coming from there and uh, it gives very nice reflection actually with the, with the golden color. So during the day, the, uh, the color of the gold is changing and the size mm-hmm. is changing as well. You know, that's, uh, but that's why I, I liked it. You know, that's one of the reasons also I wanted to put in that wall. Um, yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. And um, again, w- was there any other reason you said it just felt right, right? You wanted to have a painting and you were kind of ready um, for it and you had this great wall. But what were the other reasons that you um, said now you want one? Yeah. You know, I'm, uh, I'm also uh, in the teacher training for Movement for Life. Mm-hmm. And there we, uh, we study and we learned a lot about the rhythms of dances with mm-hmm. the music. Yeah, and when we follow those rhythms, we uh, I realize that each rhythm, the five rhythms, make my day. Mm-hmm. 
So I start with grounding, and then afterwards I'm doing, and I'll, and then things happen, becomes chaotic, and then uh, and then at the end, uh, towards the the end of the day, is more like a, you know I did this, now I did that one good, and this one is next, you know, mm-hmm. kind of enjoying it um, the, the in a positive way, and then evening is like we relax, you still, and then go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I realized that my life is largely chaos and doing mm-hmm. and uh, stillness and resting. It was like that. I changed the last, last uh, three months. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted to see on the painting. I mean, you see, as we, we talked a lot about the, this one. So the, this one is like chaos around me. And I'm connected to the universe. That's how I I I, uh, I see the painting. Mm-hmm. So I'm surrounded with the with the chaos, and then we're all supported by the, the seven chakras. Mm-hmm. Connect to the universe during the day, and afterwards, after all this doing and chaos and all those things, I go back to the to the to the harmony, to this to the peace. So mm-hmm. my day includes doing chaos but also peace so this is for me abundance because um i control my day i control my life uh, and i control um things i want to do so that i achieve my uh, my my goal my vision mm-hmm. and uh, i'm always connected to the, to the to the to the universe i mean these these sides i love this part because um it, it doesn't feel like um uh like a box painting, um, it feels like a, it's a part of the wall, um, and that also puts me in the in the mood of I'm I'm comfortable being out of my box mm-hmm. because this is all like you know all the hanging there and this part is hanging outside. Uh, so it's like, uh, I'm not only in here, but I, I can be further away very comfortably. So that's yeah. the, also the idea of uh, putting those sides like that, which I like a lot. Yeah, so the, this painting also really actually represents you as a person, right? Yeah. You yeah. And, and what yeah. you want to what you want to create and feel every day and who you are, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I sit there and then I look and I say, now is my is my peace in the evening. You know, I sit down or I do whatever I need to do, reading or something. But I'm more like grounded. Uh, yeah. yeah is I'm looking at it, and then I remember all the all the things I I continue to think about my vision and uh, connecting to the universe and all the things I want to do. But at the end, I'll go back inside. Hmm. So it's kind of also an anchor. It anchors you in in what's important for you and your life. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. And Dennis, tell us for the people that might be interested in also a custom-made painting, how, how did you know what to choose? Because, I mean, it's quite, it's an investment, right? It's quite a big investment. So how did, yeah, how did you know what to choose and what's right for you to, to um, create, to co-create with me? Yeah. Um, one is, uh, I believe, um instead of buying two, three paintings, to buy one which is quality and what I want is more important for me. It's not the quantity, it's the quality. And um, that, that's the reason. I mean, we, we, we went through that. You know, I could be done same price, I could buy two, three uh, paintings from you already done. Mm-hmm. But uh, my intuition said, I need to do this. I need to have that experience. and. Mm-hmm. During that time, I also thought what I want to see when I look at the painting. Uh, mm-hmm. So that also started putting in my mind, you know, what, what I want to manifest more. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's the reason that Seven Chakras came up at the end, towards the end. Mm-hmm. Because um, that's, that makes me align the balance of the, of the energy. Um, to me, the painting represents the energy for me. Mm-hmm. I worked a lot on um, up leveling my energy level, uh, but mental energy, you know, is is physical energy also. But uh, mentally, 
I, I'm higher energy than I was before because I worked a lot on myself. And I, when I connect to the to the painting, I feel my energy going higher. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, and um, that's what I wanted. You know, I cannot tell you know clearly this one, two, three, four. These are the reasons I did it. Mm-hmm. It's just process from the point that we discussed in the in the event. Then I thought, you know, I can look at the your ones because they are the good ones, and, and, and the intuition is important to to listen. Because when I was looking, and there was one, remember, like I was looking, I said, oh, but, 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 but that was the the side around, yeah. and I said, I want free, you know, I don't want the uh, cover, you mm-hmm. know, the frames, I because that will give me freedom because freedom is very important for me. So it's like a, it, it represents a, so all that. And I said, you know, why not doing one? I do one and I do what we, uh, what I would like, I want to have. Um, mm-hmm. that, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So yeah, I get, yeah. So you had kind of a vision because we talked already a few times. So it was also a process. It didn't come like, like immediately. We, yeah. We had yeah, time yeah. discussing and looking at yeah. paintings, and yeah. then and then you listen listen to your intuition, right? Because your intuition yeah. said, "Oh, okay, I would like to have this and that." And then, yeah, you just I get you also then told me everything that came up, right? You told me yeah, yeah. I would like I, this, I want to feel this, yeah. and then we did. Yeah. We, I created it. I, I somehow, you know, tapped into the space and created something with what you said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, um. That time, you know, the from the first time we started talking until like a, our last call saying, you know, that's all I can tell, you know, now you're the artist, you know, I leave it in your hands. Uh, it, it was months, yeah, because we, we mm-hmm. started talking end of November and um, and then, yeah, now we are in, uh, in June, I mean, yeah. May, finished in May, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. So it's a process, it's, uh, and I loved it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it it's was really fun. First ever piece of art I, I got uh, myself on my own. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. It was also it was a lot of fun for me to create as well. Um, to mm. Especially, you know, to get this, these ideas from you, what you want to feel, and then it, as well for me to have this creative freedom you know, to t- take the puzzles that you gave me and then create something and kind of for, for both of us to also trust that with the information yeah. that I got, I will create the right piece that fits perfectly to you and what you need, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that was really cool. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. And trust is very important because it's, uh, um, if I... You know, it's very important anyway. You you listen to me and I listen to you, and then I I'll, I'll actually make myself stop so that I don't intervene to your creation zone. Mm-hmm. At some point I was becoming you know, maybe you know, you know that's that I tend to do that you know just uh, you know be more precise and uh, ideas. Mm-hmm. And then I said, no, I'm not going to talk anymore. You know, it just this is this is what I want: abundance, golden chakras, energy. That's five written is in there, and then uh, you know, and then you, you I led to you completely, and uh, and because I, I trusted with the, all the things you did, and, and I know you as well. So um. yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was really yeah. cool. And d- did you know that you wanted an abstract piece, like because you could also kind of paint what you said maybe in more specific things but you knew that you want an abstract piece yeah 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 do you prefer abstract in general over let's say detailed paintings um i mean this one yeah because uh the idea was more abstract as well <laughs> you know there is no nothing there is no mountain to draw or mm-hmm. there is no sun to paint and then or there is no flower or person profile to do. Mm-hmm. So the idea was already abstract, you know, and I think that fits in very well. Uh, I mean, the energy can also come by uh, painting in Everest, you know, that's um, that that's also possible, you know, the same energy level. Uh, 
I think I worked so much on myself uh, last three years. Things that I did, things I put, and things I continue practicing, um, I see in that painting. Mm. And they're going to support me. Yeah. And, um, that's, that's what I needed. Yeah. But the, the, after a while, once the abundance starts coming, then I, I can't do, can do a painting with the flowers, maybe. You know, that's, I don't know. Yeah. 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 The, the time will show. For the moment, this one is perfect for me. You know, this is exactly what I needed. And I love the, you know, my wall with the, that's all I have. Yeah, there is nothing else around it. It's just on the wall, the painting. It's beautiful. Yeah, it really comes out. You know, you go in your apartment and then you see this golden apart uh, golden painting there. And with the light and the view, yeah. it just it, it fits amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Beautiful. And uh, yeah, how do you feel now? I mean, from, I mean, it's quite, when did I bring it to you? Like two weeks ago or something? So it's quite fresh. Um, yeah, it's, it's fresh still. I'm looking, you know, with the, um, with the time, you know, with the sunny day, with the, you know, the dark days and things, how, how the, the painting changes colors. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I feel it, it's always there. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I mean, it's, the apartment is not huge as well, so I always walk in front of it. <laughs> um, so it, the presence of it is important for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then sometimes I look and I say, I did good with this. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that was a good investment. That's a, that was that was my first art investment. In fact, I mean, it's it's not a painting. It's an investment that. Uh, I invested in you. No, you need to. No pressure, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no pressure. No. <laughs> but basically, um, it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's investment in the artist. You know, that's one of the reasons also that uh, I um, I uh, I put that uh, that investment there. Um, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, yeah, I mean, I said already. I feel like almost it's my duty, you know, to to take this super serious and really create my, make my art business big. So also mm -hmm. the people that believed in me, believed in my art, also see like uh, that their work, what they invested in also appreciates. So because now I build it already, I, I would say quite big community of collectors, which I call collectors, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel really this is uh, one, it's one part of my mission to really, you know, take that serious and put my full focus and attention into growing this art business mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. it's not just about me anymore it's about all of the people that believed in me and i feel very grateful for that too you know that's uh yeah that's big i mean especially imagine if the, the first people that believed in me when i just came out you know and said like now i'm an artist i mean i knew it but the others didn't know that because i just came out right so i, f I know that this is a this is a big thing and means a lot to me so mm -hmm. I'm very dedicated to making this happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's very good as well that you create that community because yeah. uh, is uh, you know people who like your paintings and who like being with you, who want who want to work with you, and one person can inspire another person on on the different type of paintings. You can get inspired. I think the community uh, would be very um, is very good, you know, to. Um, to, to move forward and also is going to make you progress as the community grows. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. It's a win-win. <laughs> win situation, so yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah, everyone wins, yeah. Cool. And uh, did anyone co come over to see it already? Uh, I mean, I um, put on the, on the, you know, I shared with uh, the, my friends. So they all loved it. They, they said it was beautiful. Uh, when uh, you brought it here, uh, my daughter was like, uh, you know, she liked it. She, mm -hmm. she definitely liked it. Mm -hmm. and I didn't tell anybody what I was, uh, what type of painting we were working on. Uh, I said it's just uh, we are doing a painting, but let's see what what's going to be the results. Didn't tell anything about gold or abundance or anything. And um, so far. Everybody found is very uh, is beautiful mm -hmm. and very really deep. 
in uh, in meaning. You know, the people look in it. You know, because there is a lot. Uh, remember, we also worked on a lot of lot of um, how you say. You know, these 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 things. The paste. In the paste, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I think that makes it also interesting because uh, uh, you can see different shapes there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is like a, you know everybody sees a different shape when they look at the uh, on the paste. So that's also very it makes the painting interesting. You know, mm -hmm. Everybody can see differently. I see one way, but I'm sure uh, other people will each see in a different way. Mm -hmm. That that's. That's also what I always say, like we all have our own perspective, right? And mm -hmm. I see it often when I do like a splash painting and then people start seeing faces or like an animal and everybody kind of sees something else. So it's really like we all have a different perspective uh, and yeah, yeah, we all ha see it our own way. And, yeah. uh, and I don't really know, I, 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 you can explain, but I never will know how you really see it through your eyes, right? So this is also interesting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when I look at it, I see the different things. I see, uh, I see fish. You know, I see the ocean. I see uh, because uh, I see tree. You know, I'm looking there. It, it depends what uh, what people mind are close to. You know, I'm, I, I'm on the impact investing, so I, I love ocean. I love the nature of trees, and um, so that that's the reason. Possibly, I go more. I see those things first. Yeah. But but the else may see. Completely different, you know. That's uh, how the uh, the brain works. Yeah. Exactly. I did mm. those paintings where I, you know, this is this uh, Marocha test. I think it's a it's a I think it's in a German guy created that, and it's basically he he made on paper put some color and then like yeah. put them together yeah. and took yeah. them apart, and yeah. then they used that for for um, their clients. Do you say clients? I mean, you know, people that had maybe de depression or something and they gave different ones to, to the people to look at them and everybody saw it differently, but based on what they had in their unconscious mind. So that usually mm -hmm. people that saw the world more in a negative way, they saw um, more negative things, right? They say maybe they saw a demon or, you know, whatever. They, it, it's, it's very interesting. And I even yeah. had like a, a, like a lady, as already long ago when I had an exhibition and she explained what she saw in the painting. I saw something really beautiful and somebody saw like a crying kid and war and I'm like, what? Oh, but but it's, it's, it's not bad or good. It's just that we have that the kind of in abstract work, especially our, sub, our unconscious mind projects on the painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, they use for treatment of people because they, yeah. that, those, those words, what they see, brings the issues they have or good things they have. Um, yeah, and also the uh, when people paint, they the same thing. They uh, you can make a very happy painting, um, or you can put something that is not that uh, or, or a part of their life. Actually, people from an unconscious mind they put something that they see, they live, or they think on the paper. Yeah, so it can be good, it can be bad, and uh, or it depends on the time the environment, uh, what they put in, but it shows what the unconscious mind has. In. Um, yeah, so that's why I like this space as well, because uh, you know, I can have a lot of people looking at the, you know, doing different comments, you know, I see this, yeah. I see that in there. <laughs> yeah, it gives a lot of depth, and especially with the yeah. light, yeah. 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 yeah, I love to use the, like one color with, this paste because even though there is just one color there's still like a lot of things going on with the structure or the modeling paste so it makes mm -hmm. it very mm -hmm. interesting yeah yeah absolutely yeah dennis how what would you say how did this painting impacted you the most um when i look at it i i see how i progress internally as the per, as a person mm -hmm. and I see um, the energy coming to me from the with the, with the painting I connect to the painting and uh, then I, I it makes me happy mm -hmm. so when I I think about something and I go to the painting I remember all those things it's like 
uh, going back to grounding, the, the painting makes me go in again, grounded, and then uh, gives the energy, and then, then I go ahead, you know, continue, and then uh, I continue. Mm. So it's um, my, uh, you know, you go to the, you have a mentor, and then the mentor, you have something, and then you want to talk to the mentor, and she says something, and then you go back and do it. Mm -hmm. This is, painting is like, well, it just came into my mind now, actually. <laughs> There's something I just looked at the painting and I said, Oh my god, it's just I did so much of it, and this is what I want to do, so go back, you know, doing beautiful, it's kind mm -hmm. of source of inspiration, and then you yeah. know what to do, yeah, yeah, so it's with energy mm -hmm. and then grounds me, uh, who, who I, I want, what I want to create, who I am, and then going back again, beautiful, Ground. yeah, beautiful. Awesome, Dennis. That was a great talk. To summarize everything that we said, if you if you can say it in a short sentence, in the end of the day, yeah, what would you say was, you know, the the reason why you decided to add a Hoyas painting to your home? Mm -hmm. um, I like the uh, the design. Mm -hmm. I, I like the way you do the uh, abstract painting. Mm -hmm. Um. I like the openness when we were talking about, there was no pressure, you know, you brought things and then you left two paintings, I was uh, looking at it and um, I was thinking should we do one for, you know, uh, ourselves now or should I buy, there was absolutely no um, uh, pressure or like trying to change my mind, you know, or putting my mind into a certain direction. Actually, everything I decided myself, so that freedom is important. I think that was uh, very good because a lot of people try to direct their clients into a specific route. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't feel that at all, so maybe that's why it took a bit longer as well to, to, to come to that. But uh, that was, to me, is a wonderful piece mm -hmm. now. Um, and uh, I, I, you know, I, I really recommend uh, many people, whoever is interested in buying a piece of art, which is more abstract side, uh, to work with you, uh, because um, you know me, who had no idea about that early November, um, suddenly I uh, that idea like a seed came in, and then at home I felt I felt that there is something missing here, there is a gap here. And I think the painting was for that wall. Mm -hmm. So everything came in time, and um, and you made the process very uh, pleasant, and also very positive to continue with uh, with that. You know, um, because investors not always think art as an investment. I mean, there are art investors, but you know, normal um, usual investors like me. Uh, people go to equity, go to this and that, but there is also a potential that the uh, investors they can uh, invest their their whatever they want to put in uh, to art and also use that as inspiration in their living room, in their kitchen, or in their whatever they they, they want to put in. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not just a painting; it's actually the living thing here that is supporting me mm. yeah so mm -hmm. i have comments really uh, whoever watches this video to uh to talk with you if they are interested in uh, in art and uh, getting an art piece thank you so much dennis i appreciate that that's amazing and uh, yeah i had like you know the the, the guy as well john butcher he's also an art yeah. collector and what yeah. he said is yeah it, it's kind of you know it's it's also an investment and not everybody sees it that that uh, that way. But so he said that instead of having stocks or something, you can see it in your living room. So it's kind of having your wealth hanging on the wall, which I found like this is an amazing sentence. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, they, they they have a different. I mean, I don't want to go to the investment world. And yeah. I can't come another hour. Uh, you know, it depends on what you want to create at the end. But mm -hmm. you, if you want to do. Um, and uh, an investment that you don't want to liquidate immediately and you want to wait for a while for the valuation mm -hmm. uh, that's that's the, that's why there are a lot of uh, investors for art because they see the potential 
of art pieces going forward in uh, in ten uh, years, and is is actually is a way of also transferring wealth to the the next generation. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So yeah, so I highly recommend uh, to at least you know everybody should have that experience. It's a wonderful experience. I, I loved it, and then I love working with you. I love my painting and. Um, is is one one thing to do in in lifetime to to experience this is uh, mm -hmm. and also put um, things into mind uh, clearly if uh, if obviously if uh, somebody wants to order you know work with you uh, that that's that makes that made me think if I look at the wall what I want to see and then everything comes together afterwards is is also a journey that uh, that I will always remember. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, amazing. It was really a pleasure. Um, then he says, the last thing, um, what would be your number one advice for current or future art collectors? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> uh, I mean, now I'm going to put my, uh, my investment uh, head, yeah? Okay. Uh, to be honest, I thought of that as well when we were working. Um, um there is a way i mean investors they need to look at their wealth um in terms of the the risk um you know they have equities and there's liquidity there you know different ways of investing is called asset allocation and uh to make um a good diversification um investors put their money in different different items different uh, investment lines um I think if uh, if they want to um, diversify very good, art is uh, is an important investment. Um, but not every uh, I mean I not every person understands art. You know, if I if I go to somewhere and they show me one piece of art and I won't know how genuine it is. You know how authentic that is. So it's uh, one way is a very good investment, and the second way is if they buy uh, already um, already done art, you know that somebody who complies and says you know this is the authentic one, uh, they can make this um, their portfolio grow quite high if that's a good investment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean because you. Did this painting to me? I have no problem with authenticity. You you did it. I have the video. Uh, but if the the, uh, the investors put their money into the paintings that they are there already, so authenticity is very important. And uh, that's what I also like working. You know, uh, I, I like I have what I wanted, and um, and also you did it. So that's uh, it's perfect uh, investment for me. And small investors like me. Uh, and I'm sure there are others from their salaries or you know some bonus income. They can put uh, some amount there, and it's going to grow going forward. Mm. As long as you perform very good, and I'm I'm sure you will do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm very dedicated. Yeah, no, yeah. beautiful advice. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's yeah really to see it also from this perspective, and yeah, diversify. And as you already said, it's more long-term investment, right? If you if you want to invest in something and you want to liquidate it, you know, then might, might you need to invest in something else. But it's yeah. really a long term investment and yeah. a different kind of investment as well. Yeah, that's why I call it wealth. It's not investment, it's, it's wealth. So it, it's inside, but uh, it can go from one generation to the other. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't need to be sold. It's also a pleasure, it, it's, it's a passion. Actually, art investors are passionate about art, so that's what they buy. Mm -hmm. um, I started having this this feeling once I started working on myself, and then this this intuition part started to become more obvious. Then I realized that I, I want to I want to have one mm. at least. Yeah. Amazing. Cool, Dennis. One one question popped into my mind. For um, you were talking about you know that you recommended and like when you would put. Like, yeah, what would you say? What kind of person would be a good fit for my art or interested in my art? Hmm, interesting. Um, in your words, what do you think? Yeah. I, 
there's somebody who wants to um, put the uh, the money that the, the painting deserves. That's one thing, you know. Uh, I think that's important. The uh, second thing, if somebody um, uh, they need to connect. I mean, it, it, actually, connection with the painting doesn't happen at the first moment. It's about looking a bit more and then uh, going around it. And he, you know how many times I, I walk around these paintings he brought. Um, looking in the evening, looking in the day, uh, in different lights. Uh, your actually the vision, you know, this app you had and then you were putting on the wall. I think that was very good. I actually, it's good that I mentioned this. Mm -hmm. Somebody who, uh, art is a living thing. I mean, that's what I feel, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, somebody who needs to appreciate and who sees that uh, there is connection between the piece um, and um, or and somebody else who also want to um, want to see themselves somehow in that painting. Mm. You know, otherwise, uh, just buying the piece of art uh, um, for people like uh, you know small investors, um, like a series of arts, to me doesn't make sense. It's just uh, it's important to buy a few good quality and uh, something that is going to be valued. I think the people, the clients that I see, like me, for you, is um, one is the mentally connection mm -hmm. and also thinking that uh, this is an investment. You know, there is, a, there is an investment part of it. This is the reality. Um, and that's... Uh, that connection is important. So it's not only to put the money and wait in there to get the valuation, but actually to put the, the painting in a good place and looking after it and then using it during the daylight. I think this is, these are the people who will come to you and then uh, and order the painting for them to be done. Mm, beautifully said. Thank you, Denise. That's it. Like for people that want to talk more with you about your experience or just in general, how can they find you the best? I mean, they can uh, contact me by email, but uh, in general, actually, phone number is better. Okay. Um, I will, yeah. I will, I will tag you as well. I will tag you as well. Like I will put it on Facebook and tag you as well. Maybe they also can write you a message, but I think you're not so much on Facebook, right? Uh, I use more LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll give my LinkedIn profile to you. You can tap that in. Yep. Facebook I use for the closed groups, you know. Uh, Facebook I'm not too uh, in there. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Dennis, yeah. that was amazing. Thank you so much. That was a fantastic interview. I, I, I enjoyed very much working with you and, you know, doing this interview. And thanks yeah. everyone for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much and see you soon. Yeah, see you soon, Oliver. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.